somebody gave me uh, a couple of box loads of some multi-function power bank ergo jump starter units that you see for the past few years that are popular on places like Amazon and AliExpress and she said if uh, if you can just move these on or use them feel free so for one of the first things I did was tested their capacity and you'll see this one here which uh, was claimed to be 6,000 milliamps I think it is it actually tests out to be 33 but their spec sheet does say they have a peak amp output capacity of 400 amps peak and 200 sustained so I thought well if that's the case it would probably run a spot welder for how long I don't know so I've connected it here to my spot welder and I thought I would see if indeed uh, you could use this as the power supply for a spot welder which I use for welding up battery packs either 21700 or 650 cells so we're gonna see how that works this is a SMA male base connector for smiley antennas and today I have to make up some counterpoise adapters which the first step uh, involves spot welding a nickel strip to the base adapter so I can then solder a counterpoise wire of 10AW or 12AWG onto there. So let's see how well that works. No. Alrighty, so that was with using this small power bank multifunction jump starter unit. I'm going to go grab one that has double the capacity of this one, which is also pretty common, and see if we have anybody or any better luck with that. So, back in a second. Now I'm set up with one of the larger units and I'll show you that if it works in a minute which we tested out to be 4800 milliamp capacity even though it claims something like oh, double that or more. No real luck with that. Perhaps I should just try an 18650 cell and see if we get an acceptable weld with that. That weld did hold. So I guess uh, we could say that it's partially successful as an experiment. It wouldn't be my first choice. But in a pinch you could use this style of power bank which I'm going to disconnect and show you in better detail here. Hopefully you can see that with focus and I'm sure you'll recognize this style here uh, again as being uh, fairly ubiquitous. Um, and this one it says that uh, It uh, is 12,800 milliamp capacity. In fact, it doesn't make five. So they're at about 40% of what they claim, which is pretty standard for all of the Chinese uh, amp power ratings for their battery banks and their power supplies and um, all, the, all those similar items that come out of China. So why you may ask wouldn't I buy one of these uh, Sunco units which are so popular on Amazon and AliExpress and uh, the answer uh, isn't straightforward because if you're from Europe where you have 220 mains you may get enough amps out of your line to support giving you a spot weld but you're gonna have nothing but grief if you live in North America where or somewhere else where you've got 110, 120 volts 
where your circuits are a maximum of 15 amps. 15 amps just doesn't do it for spot welding and there's nothing but grief with people who live in places where it's 120, 110 volt mains and they get one of those Sunco spot welders and plug them in to their wall socket. That's why in so many videos you will see this style of spot welder which is a kit where the case is printed, it's a 3D printed case and it's a kit out of Germany which works very well.